Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to suggest to you that you toss lower than you typically do to help you improve your serve. Now, this video is sponsored by PlayerCourt.com. If you want to play more tennis and find people in your local area to compete against or practice with, use my link in the description, PlayerCourt.com slash 2MinuteTennis. So here we have the one and only Alexander Dolgopolov. He is known for a very low toss and a quick action to his serve. No pausing whatsoever, super fluid, super relaxed, and he could absolutely bomb the serve. Now, one thing you cannot say about him is that he had a low contact. Look at this full extension. A lot of club players, when you tell them to toss lower, they're afraid they're not going to have that full extension as they contact the ball. And that's simply not true. The key to having a full extension with a low toss is that you have a fluid and loose relaxed motion. You'll notice that as his tossing arm comes up, so is his hitting arm. So his arms are coming up at the same time. Now they're not level. Like it's obvious that his tossing hand is up before his hitting hand, but they're absolutely coming up at the same time. It's just that the ball hand is leading slightly. Now with this, you'll see that his body is sinking down. So his arms are going up and his body sinks down. This is typically what you want on the serve. You want your body to go the opposite direction as your arms. Well, now his arms are both up and his body is down. Now it's going to be reverse. Now the racket and his tossing hand are going to drop and you're going to see the body go up. This is the correct timing of the body and arms when it comes to the relationship between them. So arms up, body down, and then as your body goes up, that's when the arms go down. And really, I should say the racket goes down here. Now, the racket gets whipped around because of the, the body exploding up. And then there's the contact, super high. If you look at how little that ball drops, it's amazing. You see that ball has very little rotation on it. Man, that is good. And he's contacting this ball with the ball dropping two inches, three inches, maybe. I mean, that ball barely has a chance to drop and he's making contact with it. Now, here are basically two things that occur from this. One is when you toss low, it forces you to swing fast, right? So you don't want a lot of time to swing. You actually want very little time to swing because if you have very little time to swing, it's like having very little time to get to work or get to school. You got to go fast. So the nice thing about his service motion is by tossing low, he creates the environment for racket speed. He creates the environment where the only way to be successful is to swing his racket very fast. And that produces what? A very fast serve. But also what he then does by tossing lower is he has a lot of time to hit the ball. See the difference? You want very little time to swing, but a lot of time to hit. Because now the ball is just sitting there waiting for him to hit it. And it's so easy for him to hit the sweet spot because the ball's not falling. What happens is you often see players toss the ball way too high. And as that ball drops, let's just say this is the racket face. As the ball drops, it accelerates through the window of opportunity. So some players hit here, some players hit here. Let me draw a racket so you kind of understand the perspective here. You know, players toss the ball way too high. And as that ball drops, it accelerates through the window of the racket. Not with Alexander. He's tossing the ball so low that it forces his racket to go fast, but then it's so easy for him to time the ball. I bet he can serve. I'm not joking here. I bet he can serve with his eyes closed because he's not hitting a moving target. He's actually hitting basically a stationary target. One last little tip, and I don't have permission to use a video that is full speed, so I'm actually going to put it in the description below, but his serve the timing of his toss, what I like to do is when the ball gets to the top of the head, I like to start a timer. Now, this is in slow motion. This video, by the way, is courtesy of Essential Tennis. So this, you know, looks like the ball's in the air for five seconds, but this is slow motion, so it doesn't work. So you want to go fast motion, like regular speed. His toss from the moment the ball is at head level to contact, the amount of time that passes, and I'll write it on the screen here, is 0.55 seconds. Just over half a second. To give you perspective, Federer is at 0.83 seconds. Nadal is at 0.89 seconds. That's how long it takes for the ball to go from the top of their head as they're tossing 
to contact. So it's amazing how much lower he's tossing the ball than a lot of the pros. And that's just why he has such a quick and relaxed action. So to loosen up your serve and hit a faster serve and actually hit the sweet spot more often, toss lower and have a quick arm action that's nice and loose. And if you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.